Hey guys, back again, and just wanted to pretty much make a video on this, guys. Be very aware, guys, when you buy off eBay, especially when you're buying the retro PlayStation 3s. So, long story short, guys, I bought a 80 gig PlayStation 3 for nostalgia reasons, not for any other reason. But he said that the uh, game console was fully working. And the games are really good. Here's the games, by the way, guys. So let's start off with looking at just a couple of these games. So here's Call of Duty, guys. No manual. And as you can see, there is no center to the disc. And when you get it out, as you can see, and there is a hairline crack right there, but you cannot pick it up. There it is. So it's got a hairline crack in the disc. Fair enough, that's a cheap game, don't care. So you think, you know, well, they've got to be better, haven't they? You know, then look at this, guys. You've got the ashes smashed. You think, oh, well, you know, can't be that bad. By the way, guys, all the games are as bad as this. Look at this. Yep. Fantastic. Then you think, well, we can't get no worse. You know, they're cheap shit games at the end of the day. At least you've got the console. Check it out, guys. Yep, yellow ring of death. It's fucked. I'll just show you again, guys, so you turn it on. Come under the fan. And it's off. So, I am in the midst of trying, I'll stay trying to get a refund, guys, because... The person I bought it from is trying to claim that the console is in fully, fully work in order it was tested before it was left, left the place. So, uh, yeah. Also, though, guys, it reckons that the console has um, been very well looked after. Well, let's have a look, shall we, guys? So, the top of the actual um, console looks good. So, you get, like, real light on it, though, guys. As you can see, there is scratches galore. Not too fussed by that at the end of the day. I mean, it is an old console. Look at the front here, guys. It's got a big dent right there. And it's missing the warranty sticker on the side. So it has been opened at some point. But you know what you're going to get when you try to deal with people like this. He's going to try and state that. No, that was definitely working when that left. Definitely work, and trust me, guys, if it was a lot closer, I'd take it back personally and uh, give him some interest myself. Because at the end of the day, guys, right, it weren't cheap. Uh, it was 63 quid for this, and it's fucked. So I'll just do it again, guys. And it's off. Now, it might be an easy fix, but I fucking doubt it. But, you know, it's not the point really, is it? I mean, 60 fucking quid. It should have been sold to spare and repair and worth 20 quid tops. I mean, I've seen ones chucked in the bin in better condition than this, guys. I mean, look at this. Got a massive fucking dent there. I don't even know what all that is. I have no idea, guys. The bottom of it itself. More of the same. Scratch the fuck. So, yeah. I don't know, guys. I really don't. Uh, the only reason I'm making this video, guys, is just to bring people to be aware. Because it wasn't described as acceptable. It wasn't described as broken it was described as fully working in great condition great condition well fuck i hate to see what your poor condition is because this is fucked but yeah i'm just putting this one out to show people what you can actually end up getting if you're not careful um that's the trouble when you can't see nothing guys it's word of mouth uh, at the end of the day, what I'm going to have to do now, as like I said, I'm going to have to try and get in touch with eBay and do all that. I'm going to have to make a separate video on top of this video, 
to show that the console is not working and send back to eBay and just to prove it. I mean, it's absolutely stupid. If the guy would have been genuine with me and said, look, the console's broke, um, then, you know, I might have still bought it for nostalgia reasons of having it as a fucking ornament, guys, but you can't really, you know, if it had said it's broke, Give me 10 quid, 15 quid in them games. And, you know, I mean, the games are fucked. But, oh, man. I, just, I don't know how to get a win from this one, guys. I mean, the cases are even all smashed on the actual games, as you can see. This is the Call of Duty again. The case is smashed as well. So, that's not savable. None of the games are savable. And, you know, I can't even, like, steal the manuals and look for the games again. Because there's no manuals with them either. I don't know who had this console prior to the person selling it, whether it's his home console, but he reckons it's not his home console. It's uh, He's a shop, and all these things are tested before gone out. Well, then he should know damn well that this console's been messed with, and he, he clearly never turned it on. Because, as you can see, it's got a red flashing light. Shouldn't be red flashing. And if I turn it off at the back, guys... So where the hell is it? As you can see, it turns off. Turn it on. Solid red light again. That only does the flashing after it's had the error. So, it it could be something and nothing. It could be major. I have no clue, guys. No bloody clue. To be honest, I don't know a damn thing. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a huge gamer, but I'm not nothing about electronics and taking it apart. So, yeah, great. 63 quid, and it's fucked. Hopefully, you guys can... Um, you know, get something from it. Maybe not, like, you know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with it. You know, I don't know what you can get from it. But anyway, I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. And just be careful when you buy from eBay, guys. No matter what the description says.